Uh, so, water's always been pretty important to me. Like, I grew up on a lake, so I'd spend all my time fishing or swimming or catching frogs or going out in the canoe. Growing up at my cabin in the Yukon, it was right on the lake, and we did all those water sports, water skiing, um, swimming in the Glacier Lake, so my entire childhood has revolved around water. And one area that I'm always fond of, and still fond of today, is Algonquin Park. Beautiful lakes, we'd spend tons of time on the water canoeing. And so as a kid, I was always surrounded by water in Lake Ontario, but I guess I never um, realized the importance of water until I started uh, becoming more educated and going to school for it and learning more about water. Um, I think water is an important area to study because water is, is, such a, is such a basic need and I think, you know, nothing, we can't exist without water, but I think sometimes we forget that. The question I asked myself was, what's the one thing that ties all of these different disciplines together? And I realized that that one thing is water. You can't do anything without water. And so from there, choosing to study water was pretty much a no-brainer. I think it's really important for water researchers to come together in order to be able to make well-informed policy decisions or adaptation and mitigation strategies. The problems that we face in terms of water uh, are something that uh, is very multidisciplinary. And so the solutions that we need to come up with also need to be multidisciplinary. So it's not something that biology can solve. It's not something chemistry can solve. There are so many disciplines out there that are trying to answer the same central question, like what's going to happen to water in the future? What is accessibility going to be like due to climate change? How is water quality and water quantity going to be affected? And because we are all looking for the answers to the same questions, we have to learn how to collaborate. Because water is so complex, we can't solve water challenges through a silo approach. We need to come together. And being a graduate student, you really get siloed into like these narrow frames and it gets so isolated. You're looking at your one technical area. Um, and this conference is going to provide an opportunity for us all to come together and share our point of views. I didn't really have an idea of what was going on outside of my university. I didn't know if we were on the right path, if I was competing with other people, if other people had you know, answers to my questions, if I had answers to their questions. And I, I realized that we're really not going to get anything done if we turn this into a competition for who's going to save the world on water. When you uh, get water researchers coming together when they're, when they're younger and when they're still doing their research and they kind of get used to that collaborative environment, I think in the future when they're not just researchers but young water leaders, that that's something that uh, is really important. So the reason we started the What If was because as graduate students ourselves, we felt really isolated within our research niches. Um, we sat down as a group and we thought of ideas on how we could capture a bigger audience and how we could scale up our success. And, and we thought to ourselves, well, what else could we do? That's when we decided to start up a national conference to bring together researchers from across Canada. When I heard that they were making it a national conference, I thought that was absolutely amazing. Because I felt isolated. I felt isolated to my one small research area. And my research area particularly, it intersects with geography, biology, policy, um, social sciences. And I found I was just looking at it from a civil engineering perspective and you lose sight of all the potential your research has. And we wanted to create an environment or an atmosphere that felt safe for graduate students to come together and discuss their research and get ideas from each other. I chose to volunteer at What If because I saw it as a really good opportunity to connect with other water researchers across the country. I think the first thing I hope to gain is a community, the sense of belonging and feeling as though um, I'm contributing to something bigger. Our committee is comprised of amazing graduate students from all different disciplines and just having the opportunity to work with them on a day-to-day -day basis has really changed my life. By gaining a view from a different discipline, a different perspective of a different part of Canada, I'm hoping to be able to like overcome a lot of the challenges that I'm having in my research. Uh, I think this is just a fantastic opportunity for anyone who's interested in water and for meeting people across Canada who are also interested in such an important area of study. So what I would want to tell the future delegates of the What If is that I want them to feel inspired and empowered and I want them to feel confident within themselves and their peers to come up with innovative solutions and strategies to manage and protect the future of Canada's water.